Where are you going? Out. Out where? Out to start fires? How many times do I have to tell you that was not my fault? You always have an alibi. What about your homework? She didn't give us any. Jesus, I almost got into the door before you came. It's just as Miss Riley said. He's not dumb, but he's just lazy. You don't get anything from the world by being lazy. Are you hungry? I had a donut. A donut? A donut is pure grease. Where, where's your brother Paul? Take a break for practicing for five minutes. If you devoted a tenth of your time to schoolwork, you're a genius, Paul. Believe me, I'm not as smart as you make me out to be. Don't downgrade yourself. 148 IQ is genius. But, but I was only six at the time. But 148 or 548 won't help you if you don't let it. I don't want to hear it. I know you don't. You only want to hear pleasant things. You want to spend money with those bums in the corner. That won't help you either. Thank God my father's not alive to see this. Look at this! For God's sake! The plaster, the plumbing, we're neck and neck with the junkyard. You're about ready for the junkyard if you ask me. Surprise, surprise, look who's still home. It's 4.30, shouldn't you be out? Don't start nagging him. Tell her, son. Mind your own business, Steve. You're a real pill. Look at him! I told him to get this thing out of the house. You're not my boss. Plenty of men work nights. Who needs guns? I come home at 3 in the morning. The subway's full of creeps. He likes to think of himself as tough. None of your business. Go on, open it. You didn't have to. Don't tell me what I didn't have to do. My birthday's in three weeks. This is something else. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a Bernays. That's the top make. It's so stylish. It's expensive. What's happening, Max? With what? With Florida. Mm -hmm. I have the strange details out. What are we gonna live on? Air? I can be a host. I don't know. That's all? It's a slow night. That's what you always say. It's a slow time of year. Well, Eddie Lynch called again. He wants the envelope by tomorrow. By tomorrow? I can't get it by tomorrow. That's what you always say. Don't touch my radio! Oh, touch your radio? What? No! What's going on? He's crazy. I need to speak with you. What did I do? Turn that radio down. It's giving me a headache. Here I am breaking my neck at the stupid job when at 10.30 in the morning I get a call from Mr. Parver. Mr. Parver? The dean at your high school. He hates me. He informs me that you've been skipping class for the last two weeks. Where have you been? I've been at the magic shop. The magic shop? Yeah, the magic shop. I had such few points for you. So sorry. Good Paul, practice, learn magic. That's just what we need around here. More tricks and illusions. <laughs> learn to saw a woman in half. You can practice on me. Hey Paul! I really want to buy this new book on hypnosis. It says you can get girls to do whatever you want them to do. Well, you can't make people do anything they wouldn't do in their life. Stop the presses. I have news. Yeah. What? You know Mrs. Garvey from downstairs? Yeah. Her son, Mr. Wexler, is a talent agent and he has agreed to see your magic act, Paul. <laughs>
Here it is, here it is, it. here it is. Presenting the great Pollock. You can do it, Paul. Pick, pick a card. Okay. Put it back. Mm-hmm. Who is this your card? No. Sorry. Oh, it's okay, Paul. You can do it again. Ooh, was this one your card? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so, so I'm gonna make a quarter appear. There's, there's nothing there. It's no, still no quarter. Listen, kid. I don't think you got it. What it takes to be on the live stage. I'm sorry.